All right, welcome everybody. Um, today we're playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This is on the PS5. Um, we will be, I won't be doing a cam today because I'm still pretty sick. I'm gonna try to mute my mic, but I have to cough or sneeze. So you guys don't see the nastiness. <laughs> but thank you guys for putting up with it. I'm gonna play the game on PS5. It's the only place to play it. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and watch the recap of the story of the first game for those that didn't get a chance to see it. When there is so much to tell, where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it, Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako. Ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company. Who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor One. In Sector Eight, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken had all been as the Whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other 
side of fate, Sephiroth waited, and the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. Fight one, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. So, uh, even briefer recap, the first game follows the um, original story pretty closely, and every time they diverge from it, they kept getting pushed back onto it by the Whispers, who control fate. And then at the end of the first game, they battle Sephiroth, defeat him, and then, then that shatters the shackle of fate. So now the second game is free to do what it wants because it's not limited by the plot ghosts of the first game anymore. So we don't know where the story could go because it could go anywhere now. Uh, the first game was kind of forced to follow the um, the storyline of the original game as much as it could, and it kept pushing it on the storyline. But now that that's broken, the second game could go any direction. It'd be quite different from the first, the original. <coughs> yes, I'm still, I'm still pretty sick, um, but I think we can. Hang it. I'll just be uh, muting the mic if I need to cough or sneeze or something. We should be able to get through Final Fantasy. Bonus eligible items. Koopo Charm and Survival Set. Leviathan Sub Materia. Oh, Ruma. Ooh, nice. Dynamic difficulty. Ooh. Active. I don't remember dynamic being. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai, and has begun investigations into the matter. They say weather warfare? They're blaming the weather on Avalanche now? the music.
course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. In the original, Zack's not alive during this part, is he? Followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. Oh, I got another reactor blew up. Which must have been caused one, by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see. Uh, over there. <sighs> Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one soldier. You're right. That soldier, armed with a buster sword, highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here. Get him on board. For the rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. Uh oh. Quick, get the camera off him. have been secured. We are exfilling via helo now. Move it. We're taking off. What? Hey, turn that off. <laughs> the survivors are being taken away. I can't hear them all the way. Excuse me, could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako, but he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! Hello, stranger. Watch my sick friend. Aerith! Playing as Zack. Uh oh. I can't. I can't make it performance mode. I'll change it later, but it's running at 30 because it's not in performance mode. I can't swap it right now. Zack and Aerith were uh, dating at one point. That's how he recognizes her. Get away from her! He's got a buster sword! Terrorist! Not everyone has a buster sword to terrorist, you profile and piece of shit. Oops, Aerith is dead now. Yeah, we're on dynamic mode, and I'm on fidelity mode, but I can't swap it just yet. They won't let me. If a streamer doesn't put dynamic mode in their title, are they really playing dynamic mode? Thank you. Where's the agent? Heads are gonna roll if we don't find her. Just shut the 
hell up and search! This is so messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. As a reminder, uh, the the fates have been broken, so, right, so this game is free Seeing to diverge from the main the time, ga original game the drastically. About you and your buddy Sephiroth. Sure, if Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's it all started five years ago. I was sixteen at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then, and what little there was it was boring as hell. Was in then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission with Sephiroth. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Utah, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. Hmm. Well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our dwell! Let's go. Oh, they're cute and chubby. You don't got this, kid. So far off. 
I feel like that sword is too long to be structurally sound. He was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. They ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. The best they had. though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... Oh, there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting to that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on. Let's go. Sephiroth seems like a really nice guy. I don't know why. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. seems really down to earth and nice. I don't know why he's got such a bad rep. Opening menu, party stats, adjust race, settings. Okay. Uh, roll, jump over, search a ring. Okay, we can finally turn on performance mode. There we go. Now I'll get a little more blurry, but at least it won't be so... Uh, so low frame rate. Wait a minute. Just me or the colors change drastically. Let me see. Nope. It doesn't. It was just it was just it switching to gameplay versus cutscene. Definitely gets a bit blurry, but it does run you know, smooth at least. Well, we gotta wait for that PC help. version We're in the so future. Thank you. That PC version will run in good frames and look sexy. Yeah, comp the current gen consoles are almost there. They're almost. Not quite, but I think feel like the next gen will be like look nice and run well. Hopefully. Hopefully. This gen got really close. Really close. Y'all. I'm Cloud. If you look up in the sky, you might see me. It's over there. A uh, mega potion. You see this guy right here? That's not a real NPC. That's a that is a tutorial guy to train the player that they can jump over the fence 
I you still got energy after the trip here. So that they don't get stuck. Uh, the game does not import anything from the first. You start fresh. So they don't like carry your save over or anything. Like you start with the preset character again. See what's in the. Not the hotel. Not yet. Whoa, those subtitles. Don't make any trouble. Let's never discuss the matter with the mayor in private. Everyone calm down, bro. Can I stop on my mom's? Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. Ugh, fine. My dad died when I was a kid. Aww. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there. <sighs> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. Don't touch me, Mom. I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. S silly That's goose? the perfect type for you, I'd say. Who calls someone a silly they goose? They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. Why does his memory keep doing that around Sephiroth and his mom? It's very strange. I've never played the original game, so I don't know anything from the original. Yeah, I've never played the original, so I don't know like what is what's going on. But I'm sure they will let us know eventually. What's up here? The old water tower. I need to find me an older woman to call me a silly goose. So how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. After two years away and all that. Uh-huh. This is the place where you ask yourself, what are you gonna do? It's a water tower. Oh, 
Emerald. That, this must be Tifa's place right here. What do you think of our village? Pretty nice, right? Huh? You went to my place? Yeah. I figured you might be there. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> that most of them had to do with you. Yeah, Clown doesn't seem the most approachable, nice guy kind of person. Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. Cats do that. We do have a bunch of themed emotes. Chat from Julia made us some emotes for the game for you to use during our playthrough. There's the full list in chat, including uh, Dan Moogle, which is our animated one. We also have some follower emotes that everyone can use for Dan Tifa and Dan Aerith. So if you are Team Aerith, you type Dan Aerith. If you're Team Tifa, type Dan Tifa. And we'll see um, who will be our date later in the game. I don't know. It's not really fair, though, because in this game, they decided they, in the preview to show the, um, Tifa's bathing suit. And she has huge, giant changes from the original game. Massive, big old plot changes. You went into my room? Yeah. I did. What's in here? You went through my stuff? Yes. I know I shouldn't have. <laughs> Cloud! What? You asshole! What? Can't a man just browse around in an RPG anymore without the being an asshole? Inspect pianos you encounter to stick, uh, start tickling the ivies. Did you actually play it? Yeah. Oh my god, this mini game is so hard. I don't have the coordination for it. Um. Pretty good. I call that one falling down the stairs with a piano. You could have just left it alone, you know. Yeah. What were you even thinking? Yeah, uh, don't quit your day job. Yeah, I don't see a, a note. I thought there was a um, thing to play here, but maybe that was only the demo. My, your wife is asking you why you're laughing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's somewhere else in the full game. Okay. So just the demo that they changed that. Okay. Hey, bro, let me get a good look at that sword. Nope. Nope, not going there. You guys got guns? What the hey, hell? Good to see you, soldier. Explore the village pair for tomorrow. Can Tiger, thank you for that you seventy month reset. Just for a bit. Could you keep up? Alright, everybody. Gather round. It's time to Zanga size. Zanga. Ready to get started? Let's Zanga! Okay. Put your fingertips together and lift your hands to the sky. Can I actually do this? Is there a way to do that? Arms tight to the ears and spread those hands. Keep your arms straight. Feel the stretch all the way to your fingertips. Is 
This isn't awkward, is it, ma'am? Good, good. Keep them straight. Now stretch that spine. Now lift your heels. Hold it. Hold it. Wait a minute. Is that the prince from Little Mermaid? Looks just like him. I don't seem to be able to join, ma'am. I want to, though. Oh, my God, everyone. Jeez. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Come on, that's enough. Please, go back to your homes. A soldier. Then you are? Richard Sangan. A humble traveler of the world. And teacher of martial arts to the youth. Mm. Mm. Such a chad. Oh, damn. Mm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Yes, Daddy. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Tifa? Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. <laughs> I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. I bet you would. City folk are so sophisticated. Can only imagine what their lives He looks like life. if um, Sean Connery was a bodybuilder. Welcome back. Sephiroth's already gone upstairs. Sephiroth. Well, let's go chat with Sephiroth. Didn't really notice at the time, but... Looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. He's brooding. Hi, Sephiroth. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do. They changed the rules so we can stream on YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok at the same time. Night. Night, Seffy. I'll see you tomorrow, Seffy. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. Late. We leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa. Oh, my God. You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There 
be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. <laughs> Paparazzi. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Cheese. Cheese. Like you were having a good time. One more. Yeah. I guess we were Waiter. for a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebo. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Hold to sprint till you stop moving while running it. Perform terrain actions. Uh, square to use your weapon to attack. Find boxes my shooting logo. Break them open. Sounds good to me. We can't move in any direction that's away from Tifa, though. Oh, guard one and guard two are coming with us. I'm sure they'll be fine. Mega potion. I love having 60 frames, but it does make you the game quite blurry. Know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen the in our But none in such a breathtaking view. Who could find her of it? Everyone, eventually. Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips. Uh, I think trip. you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Well, oh, congrats. You finished uh, Rebirth already? Damn, you must have been grinding. Apparently this has a lot more uh, in-game fights in this one. That are really tough to beat. I know Sephiroth just seems like a nice guy here. Surely he'll stay that way the whole game, I'm sure. Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves is all. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> Yes, you really are the best there oh is. Oh my god, they make you walk to at a crawl. Nothing there? For all that effort I had to spend to go up there. Music is wonderful. It's a great way to do a title sequence. You get all the names up there, people get to play. It's made by a lot of people. You know, Chad, I had a dream. I had a dream that one day they stopped releasing games on console and then PC a year later, and they just released games on PC and console almost at the same time. And it was a good day. It was my Final Fantasy dream. Oh, I see some bugs. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. 
then they're all yours. Copy that. Press X uh, square to attack Cloud Sword, holding the button light to follow up a sweeping slash. Dodging to launch a ranged attack. Hold the button to unleash an aerial combo. I got a trophy! Let's finish this. I got this. That was awesome. Two trophies on the you first think? fight? Damn. If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo saved that it uh, can skip the reactor rest and play them from the village. Uh, no. We'll do it for story. Because chat wants the story. Enemies will glow, uh, load into your presence. Gauge will have expert fills and jump from your foes. First strike, your gauge will be spoken slightly. Uh, open the command menu and spend HP charges to do abilities. Braver. You're done. Oh yeah. Let's finish this. Purple slash. Piece of cake. Uh. You know, this game series doesn't seem very final. A lot of them. Are these games good? Yeah. If you never played them, you should give them a try. Final Fantasy VII Remake is designed just to be played if you've never played the original. Oh, Tifa's a badass. <laughs> Come on, soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Uh, press R1 to block some attacks, or press to move out of harm's way. Block you to shirt my demons for your HP gauge. Steady. <laughs> You're done. Braver? Well, that's that. I'm not super injured yet, so we'll wait. Lock on a big one to me. Take it away. Let's finish this. Sir. You're done. And boom. Oh, now you help. Well done, Trooper. Thank you. I got the rest. Ah! 
Oh, those gust attacks. Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> you better. Cool. See you at the reactor. Material can be set in most weapon equipment by the material and equipment um, section of the main menu. Check out the material clouds right of his mission. No, no, material works. Rumble him, thank you for that Prime Gaming sub. Well, he's just working it out. You know how it goes. Uh, you gain AP every battle once AP is cured. Material will improve further enhance effects of potency of spells. <laughs> material, let's see. We have assess material, which is great. Ice. Say so that's it for now. Songbird, thank you for that 62 month reset. Oh, hi there. Press to activate character's unique ability, operator mode, and punisher mode. Now we're talking. Abilities, assess. Uh, ice effective. Watch the air explode them a little because it will pressure them. Blizzard. You're calling ice. Punish mode cloud just slowly can inflict more powerful attack. Can lose guard of attack. Let's go. Bye. I'll end this. Gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Combat's really, really nice, this one. I like the new turn-based, I like the new action combat, but... Some part of me is still like... What about turn-based, though? What if we went back to old turn-based? Classic. Mega Potion, Bottle of Ether. Up, nothing up here. Alright, I shall run ahead. Uh, we're on 60 FPS. 30 you can tell, but because it's a lot choppier. Next generation of consoles will hopefully be able to do... 60 FPS at least, and then 4K and with RTX ray tracing. But you know, not right now. Won't be a hot minute. Try it. 
You're done. See ya. Let's finish this. Bye. Well, that's that. Let's scare myself a little bit. Go. What do we got here? High potions. Very nice. Another high potion. Uh, the game's already in 1080p 60. That's it's what you're seeing right now. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? Let's hope okay. the next two accounts can do 4K at 60 or even 120. But 60 is fine. Let's see. I remember you. I was looking at something. No, never mind. Well, let me go back that way. Approach location marked with uh, to perform conduct sensitive actions. Even if they compromise at 1440p, it'd be nice. Uh, the screen's blurry because they're trying to do more than the console can handle. So they're trying to compensate. They'd have to make the graphics a lot less this nice way. looking. Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guide. Good thing I reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Lead on. Yes. Still looks fine though. No big deal. It's just you know, it would be nice. The PC version will be will be where it's at when they finally reach that PC version. It'll be super sexy. Yeah, they definitely did the best they could with what they had available to them, power-wise in the console. Hello, what is that? Orb of level boost. Ice materia. Increase uh, link material level by one. I guess we'll do that. Fine. If they, what would the Switch version look like? The Switch would look like the original game. If they had to put it on there. music though the composer for this game said this is probably as this and the next one are probably as last big games is gonna do uh oh yes Ah, 
How about we go trip focus thrust? Then we go braver. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Yeah, his name's called Screamer, but I don't think I heard him say anything. Interesting name choice there. He didn't make one scream. Could just be the silent type, you know. Oh, I think we can jump this and get that, yeah. We, we, like, we like secrets around this stream. Bottle of either. Either or. Yeah, it could just be a translation thing. Sometimes they translate something from Japanese to English. It doesn't quite work. But there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Oh my god, chat. If you guys haven't watched Shogun on Hulu, it's really good. The Shogun show was amazing. I watched the first episode and it was a, it was like Game of Thrones level good. Highly recommend it if you uh, like dramatic uh, TV shows. No gas detected. Elevator access granted. We got, we even got now for the gentlemen and some ladies out there as an incentive. They even have boobies in the first episode. Like, I mean, come on. They're just like, whoa. It, just, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Story, the writing, the characters, the environments, the CGI is all fantastic. Yeah, it reminded me a lot of season one of Game of Thrones where established like person is getting set up for a horrible situation and you have to somehow survive it. Yeah, I'm, I'm still pretty sick, so the camera's off today. Come on. Rain. Did you watch subbed or dubbed? I, I did the, the whole. Most of it's in Japanese, with subtitles. Just I don't know if they have dubbed. Thing. They might. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. There are some English-speaking characters though. Guard one and guard two. Ah! 
Guard one, you're safe. Guard two, no! Oh, uh, there's guard two. No, guard two! Oh, no. Abs in the chat for guard two, everybody. He's in fate's hands now. Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well, we certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. What? Sephiroth? Oh, Sephi. <sighs> Scalable wall. Scalable walls are slathered in yellow paint, like every other game. <laughs> It seems like every developer is going with yellow as the thing to mark where those are. Sitting at a rest stop um, or sleeping lodging was fully store HP and mana. Oh. Must be real comfy. HP up materia. I just sit here and I'm just like instantly fine. Ooh. Uh, Sephiroth, what are you wearing, bro? Uh, Masa, Masa Moon. Fortitude, and he's got like all the materia equipped. He's got max stats on everything. He's OP. Off you go. Switch different character to battle by advantages. Uh, switch characters to shoot commands allies. Slash with Masamun or uh, unleash range attack. Number of attacks will light and form branching finishers like Pierce or Sword Dance. Touch dance while the stance uh my parry coming attack. Abilities, Zashan. He's OP, damn. Sephiroth's current fight leader means that he's going to start a battle, change fight leader to combat settings. We probably going to control Sephiroth much, so we'll leave him out of our battle for now. So again, if you need a, a quick refresher on what the story is like, is... At the end of the first game, Final Fantasy VII Remake, they broke the tides of fate, and therefore this game can now diverge heavily from the original. If they wanted to. More Mako gas ahead. Because Destiny isn't able to control no them way around as either. much anymore. Just have to go through. Let's 
not waste any time. Mako, this thing is dangerous. Which means that there's some things that they wouldn't be able to do. Like, for example, in the very beginning, we saw that Zack is apparently alive. Or is alive in some way and was saved um, Cloud and found Aerith and stuff. Never really explained too much that section yet, but that's at least what was implied. They also showed that you can now get an Amazon Prime member. Your Amazon Prime membership can now get you a sub on Twitch. Which is, I don't think that was possible before. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Ice Materia, Fire. What's this new one I picked up? Power Man. Debraved. Oh. Nah. Oh. Going the wrong direction. This is a dead end. Uh, Gutsy Villain and Can Canduster, thank you for those resubs, guys. Uh, Kevin is currently um, playing the hell out of Lost Last Epoch. He loves ARPGs. I was playing a lot of that while I was sick, too. I got to level 80. Mako Spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Yeah. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Hmm? To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo from research and development. His predecessor was a great man, but him, he is anything but. <laughs> we should press on. Press on nails. Uh, Sephiroth is sure a character. Like Sephiroth might be slightly OP. Uh, Jetter, I think for that two month resub, it says Dan Tifa. Thank you very much. Ugly looking bugs around here. 
I'm a Tiba. Those bugs remind me of uh, Helldiver bugs. I want to shoot them and spread democracy. Well, if you haven't played uh, Helldivers, you should. It's really good. Super fun game, great price point, lots of good updates coming. Just stupid fun. Heads up. What it means about using attack, you gotta be guarded against. The symbol appears to be based action. Oh, oops. Let's finish this. It's all you. Not so long. Let's hurry. Every time I see Sephiroth, I keep thinking of that fight in, um... Kingdom Hearts where you fight him and you hear his song over and over again for hours as you're trying to battle him. Sup Jim Carrey, steal a pair, run in peace, up our rock, something like that. Such a classic. Xbox Jim Carrey. Run in peace, Upper. Uh, magnify materia. So far, this game seems like it's gonna be really good. It's just. Tell even this small section here is just done very, very well. Not again. Um, pairing a large form synergy skills. <laughs> Dual blade dancing rather than Alicia and three second close range physical attacks. Quick enough damage or split a weakness, so uh, place it to be in pressured state. Stagger leave a defenseless, yeah. Are you? I got this. Stagger! It's all you. All right. Not your dad. All right. Still. So close to dead. Stand back. Won't be the last. Zoo has been defeated. <laughs> Sephiroth is just our good friend. He's our bestie. 
He would never do anything bad. Just our best friend, good fella. Just, just a nice guy, really. Mega potion. Yeah, in battle, he just really likes to wing it. He doesn't really like to try too hard. Swing it. Uh, precision defense material. I still have any slots on my Buster Sword for anything new, so I'll leave it the way it is for now. Although I do like to play him as more melee focused. Send input timing for precision defense. That does sound nice. Sephiroth is very speedy, and he hits hard at the same time. Auto cast material. Auto cast. What is that? Uh, it allows an to automatic use spells with the link material when not actively controlled in battle. Oh. Well, that's cool. I don't trust the added use spells, though. You lost 2% HP. Let me waste all my mana healing you. Yeah, they, they've really streamlined the combat. Makes it feel a lot better. They, like, further define what the first game started to build. No, they really. I love how they're one of the new things they put in the game was vacuuming. Mako vacuuming. Mako gas levels reduced by 20%. Cable's not long enough. Oh, now we can open it. why they decided to make this thing move so slow. Like it moves slowly, it moves very slowly. You know, I find um, anything that makes you control a vacuum sucks. Alright, well, 
let's go. I know, I do wish I had one of these after, you know, those night, after enchilada night. These, one of these would be very helpful. Gain an elixir, very nice. Hey, a man can make his own Mako, okay? My Mako is stinky. Elixir. So many elevators in this place. Looks like a boss fight room to me, ma'am. King Behemoth that has this way. <laughs> deformities. You said you wanted to be a hero. Wish I had. If things were out of material, someone should tell it or not. Be my guest. Hold still. <laughs> The music chat. I love it. Uh, weak to fire. Fading its capture attempts or freeing captured allies of pressure. I got rid of his abilities, oops. Sephiroth's got this. Vigil body parts you can, um... Yeah! Move it. 
Taking damage, fills the limit gauge. Copy. We'll save that limit gauge for when he is staggered. I unequipped Cloud's magic spells. I'm excited. I didn't think I needed them. Such a puppy. Such a puppy. He said it. Uh, double healing synergy command to bring material crash. I don't like the looks of this. Stay alert. <laughs> I love Sephiroth. Oh my god. Thrust. Limit. Octa Slash. Holy hell. Such a pub. Nice work. <laughs> okay, hold Good up. fight, chat. Good Maybe fight. You I'm did it. missing something here. But everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil. Trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. You wait out here, Tifa. Please. Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on. Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. Oh. Guard number one has ordered you to not go in there. You better keep me safe. I would trust my life to guard number one. He seems very, very capable. Didn't expect it to be all systems go. Uh oh. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last gen models. Then let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. Chat, whatever you see here, you're not allowed to speak about it, okay? This is classified. Chat, I need to see you raise your hand and promise you will not discuss what you see in here. 
because it's classified information. Ripped off by something. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first? Got this. <laughs> okay, am I supposed to release? Okay, okay, there you go. And then again. Just gotta really think about it. And then again, the place called Cloud, his head's always in the clouds. Could he turn this any slower? for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo, repurpose them as incubators. Cages for animals. Infused with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. Weeps? But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects.
Sephiroth. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different. That I was special. But not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. Emo. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Dr. Kelf Charmer, thank you so much for that Prime Gaming sub. Now we need to go find where Sephi went. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Mm. Alright, I gotta take a quick bathroom break, guys. We'll be right back in just a second. Some more tissues. Be right back. We'll squeeze on our ad break here, so do a quick ad break and then we'll be right back. I'll make sure you guys don't miss anything. Be right back. Thank you for putting up with the ads. I appreciate that.
we back? Everything good? All right, we all back from the break. Thank you for dealing with the ad break, and we're all back. Looking for Safaroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? Maybe. He's probably just going for a night stroll. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Hmm, Sephiroth? Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. All right. Hi there. Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? I don't know. Let's go find where Sephiroth He's went. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako, and we ought to bring him some medicine. Let's go find him. building in town and older than the reactor the company used to conduct research there back when they were still a small manufacturer even so the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village in well here we are what now i mean the whole place is pitch black you think he's sleeping or something what if he's sick he needs our help him a little mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend yeah um why is this giant ass mansion next to this town full of little houses? Is this like the Lord? Uh, Clape and Destructo Disc, thank you for the resubs, guys. Go and Enjoy check on Sephiroth for us, will ya? Hurry, please. <laughs> well, I must run. This place looks like it's in ruin. Oh yeah, it was a Shinra property. It just seems abandoned. <laughs> Zimmy, thank you for that resub. I'm surprised I let this go like get real bad like this. What the hell? It's like dilapidated. Zimmy and Cody, I think, for those resubs. I see a Dan Hart and some Dan Blankies. Let's get those in chat for our resubs. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. Did Sephiroth light all these candles? Uh, Sir D's Nottington. Oh my god, these nuts? That sounds like a um a royal title for someone. Thank you for that brand new sub. Never knew it had a basement. It was news to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Was this say torn back? Torn back? Sephiroth, buddy. Steffi, are you okay, buddy? Excavated from a 2,000-year-old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. 
MEGL 77 1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, MEGL 913 1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. We got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient's. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you? asking myself, why couldn't I have come to sooner? <laughs> if I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. A, a comma makes a what? big difference in the meaning of that statement. Uh, 
Uh oh. You. Get in there. What's going the on? Need your help. I'm sorry, there, there's loot there though, I need it. Ah. That's no. Uh, subscribers, our emote Dan Fine will become very handy during this part. Also, Dan Keck in a minute. Let me throw my son to his ear! I'm sorry, he's gone! Mom. Check on Mom. Is it true? Sakharov did this? Oh, it was him, all right. And he's still here. So keep your eyes peeled. God. Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out now. Yes, sir. I can hear the music in the background, slowly building. Why would he? No, not here. Back around. <laughs> Hi. Don't mac me for the resub. Almost there. It's like the switch trying to navigate a game. Very immersive. I feel like I have a limp. Looks awfully flamey. You monster! 
Oh, they got guns. Fire! You sick son of a bitch! Let's burn them! Drop the Why aren't they firing? Why are they still not firing? No longer the head of the village. Sephiroth! Followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad! It was Sephiroth. Wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs>
promised you'd save me. If I was ever trapped or in trouble. Is that why she doesn't have a hat anymore? you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! Last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Sinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. <laughs> Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> what I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as... Around? But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. The travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. 
Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Oh, no, you don't. That bed's mine. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. You can still sleep with the cat. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? I was wondering... What's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're... asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. What? She said it. A late night, you up. Why, yes, Tifa. I am up. Hello. Sorry. Did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh... It's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. A little late night talk. I gotta make sure there's no loot in here first, though. Wait a minute. Does he have a flaming tail? Is that safe to be next to, you know, blankets and stuff? Does oh my god, Barrett sleeping with his gun on. Oh my god. <coughs> Ooh, what's in here? Locked. Looks like she's playing some jazz. real or fake anymore, Mr. Seffy. Ooh, that music is jamming, chat. I like that. Tifa, where'd you go? Oh my god, the city is gorgeous. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. 
Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Having this conversation with you, but here we are. Here, look. I see them. My scar, that proof. Oh, of... oh, yeah, you the scar, yeah. After you left, of course, Zonagon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. They made it look like she was about to pull up her shirt. I was like, what is happening? But uh, then I realized, oh, it was the scar, okay. The devs have to know what they're doing. I mean, they had to. When the, when the PC version comes out, yes, there'll be mods, of course. I oh, there will be mods. Pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. So, I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Ooh. Tifa, Tifa, best to leave them alone for now. Damn. Who's in here? Locks. Oh, can I go downstairs? Hello. Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. An old war wound acting up, perhaps? If so, I can certainly empathize. I myself fought for the company once upon a time, and my bodies never let me forget it. Um. No, I just wanted some towels, but thanks. It's a nice inn. Well, I am dressed like a soldier. This is probably why I thought I was a soldier. You two fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Night. Tomorrow is another day. That's how time works. Never meet your heroes.
Well, um, the Mako reactors are literally killing the planet. Like, sucking the life force out of it. So that they wanted to stop. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Ooh, a card game. I heard this is supposed to be pretty good. Now play the card game Queen's Blood. Find other players under by the icon around the world. Challenge them to matches. Should you win, they often give you new cards at your collection. And players also give you an opportunity to fight other opponents in different towns. You build and edit decks with card decks in the main menu. Teach me how to play this game. Ooh. Each player takes a turn placing a card on the board. Uh, two, in one of the three lanes, this card on the left, highlighted door in the Emerald Pond. Cactar. Once the card is placed, the card is added to your lane total. New positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with the emerald pawns, uh, which we place with new cards. The other number on the top right is card power. Um, while pushing card added to the board, you know, the square is the bottom graphic. Next, place cards so that uh, one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of your existing positions. Grasslands Wolf. Oh, you want this one for sure. When one of your cards, uh, Vision Tiles, are last Vision Control, the Vision rises in rank. So there are two bonds that can the tile now, the position is rank 2. Currently, we place them position equal to or higher than the rank. It's noted uh, by the top left menu. In order to play more powerful cards, you have to raise the rank of your positions. As you don't have a rank 2 position, try placing a rank 2 card on it. Oh, I see. When one of your cards, uh... Positions over last one of your opponents, you claim that position is yours. Uh, no, however, the claim position will not raise its rank. Uh, you can keep track of who's winning the lane by looking at the total points on each side of the board. The left represent your power, right represent your, uh, your opponent. So, cards have tiles with red borders. These are tiles that are affected by a card's ability. Place cards effectively makes more uh, uh, affects their ability. Mess more power in more lanes than your opponent. The minute you can't place a card, you can pass. Race power rather card with the dice. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> The security officer.
Uh, oh, that requires three tokens. Cactar can affect quite a few spots. Parallel cards while this is in play. Put that there. I'm winning all the lanes now. Game is over. Each player's score is tabulated. Only player that higher power in a lane has their power added to the score. In other words, no matter how high your power lane may be, less than your opponents, it will not count towards the score. Ooh. Very interesting card game. Okay, I have more cards to collection. I win them off players. Request some mass cards becoming the best player on the planet. I love when they put uh, Gwent-like stuff in the game. It's pretty good. Oh man, that's, that's gonna be my Gwent. I will have to find all the cards and then use them. Well, let's go downstairs and chat with Tifa and be like, hey. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 oh, plate, no. culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare. Good morning, sir. By the infamous I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Just a part of gear by material equipment and main menu. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. Soldier boy. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. That's how they get you. The first one's free. What level am I? Level 15? We've gone down 30 levels in five years. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Yay! If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. You have sure equipment? Thing. Can I swap your teeth? Hmm. Luke's got a backbone.
recruitment challenges help people in need explore in the world will deepen your party's bonds, increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities you will be able in your portfolios. Reactors are terrible for nearby farmlands, which is why I'm glad we get our models from it. Wait, I see a challenger over here. <laughs> I want to play, but... Main quest. You okay? You, you don't want to play Queen's Blood, do you? I was hoping that. Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me. Oh God, this is too much. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Give me that look. It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know. <laughs> People call me Cry Baby Dad. Because the more tears I shed, the better I get in Queen's blood. <laughs> Please play around with me. Are you okay? Holy shit. Something wrong with this guy. So I'll get a crystalline crab from him. So I have like no cards really to add. I get it. No one wants to play with a crybaby. Chad, it's not nice to type Dan Nerd to this guy. <laughs> Be nice. Sweepers are kind of hard to place. Race the power uh, by one when this is in play. A three, huh? Try that. I need a two. Uh oh. Might be locked out here. Uh, none of these are gonna help me. Actually, that opens up that one barely. Uh-oh. 
the mulligan. Oh, no. Can I play any cards? No. I lost the crybaby Ned. Oh, no. <laughs> Rematch, please. I fell for the trap. One rank cards, I don't think. I leave it the way it is. Never want to underestimate a cry, baby. <laughs> you cry and cry, and then yeah. Who would you go around? Such a crybaby. So we gotta win with the starter deck. Oops. there to get me a two spot. I think I could I went all the lanes. I win. I win every lane. <laughs> Crystalline Crab, he's probably the other cards in by two and the cards in play. I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down, too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. Cloud does not cry, sir. He just doesn't. Oh, Tifa. Morning. Morning. 
everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Looks kind of like the water tower in Nibelheim. Right? Weird to think how much it meant to me back then, when I was still there. Cloud's actions affect his relationships with his allies. The strength of these bonds can alter portions of the story. Press L1 to view the feelings towards Cloud as in symbol by the happy symbol. So she looks pretty neutral to me right now. This is such a quiet, peaceful town. She isn't happy, I know. Are any of us happy? All the time. You know, we're allowed to have a bad day. Oop, I, another card game. I made a promise at the water tower that I would save her. Hello there. I take it our equipment is in order. What are you doing here anyway? Standing watch. One can never be too careful with Shinra. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. <laughs> Good boy. I don't want to like treat him like he's a dog though. Because he, he's kind of like a person trapped in a dog's body. I don't know if that'd be offensive to be like, Good boy. Uh, where? Okay, so up here on the right is another card player. Just there. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Whoa. Looky here. I'd say we got ourselves a contender. So how about it, pretty boy? You want to throw down? But first, let me introduce you to Nene, Master Ventriloquist. Now, she ain't much of a talker. But give her a deck of cards, and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Well, are ya? I'm battling a puppet. Okay. Um, let's see. The new card we have is... Is that rank one? Yeah. I gotta delete a couple to add those. I'll delete one of each of those and add two of these. Mulligan that one and that one. No, actually, just that one.
put that there. We'll get the two over there. sides or not uh oh like <laughs> that one made the game DMV, thank you for that resub. It says Dan B. Appreciate that. Cactar, raise the power rally card and some affected tile by three when card is in play. It's a nice one. Phew, this guy packs one hell of a punch. But hey, you can't win them all. Besides, what really matters is you were brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like Pretty Boy here. Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious about upping your game. Listen, kid, you got what it takes to be a champ. I bet my bottom gill on it. Now why don't you show Blotty your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. So she gets to say nasty stuff and be super mean, and then she just gets to say that the doll did it? Wow. That's not really fair. Is that water? Oh, you can swim. Ooh. Treasure. A headband. How fashionable. My boy and I had a big falling out. He moved to Midgar because of it. Oh, Aerith! Aha! Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up? Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Let's. If Hi. I have to. Awesome! was my idea. I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? If I have to. Uh... Hey there. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Uh, skill books. Um, spend skill points at Banana Books and I'm actually augment your party's folios. Folios? Orange skill course can be unlocked by spending skill points. Move the cursor of a skill to see what it does. Cloud use Aerith magic to unleash a ranged attack. Oh, wow. You master new synergy ability. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available in turn. You're free to choose which skill cores unlock and, and win. Adapt the character's strength to suit your play style. Increasing the party's level creates more skill cores. A character with will earn SP as they level up or when they acquire manuscripts such as the artist's sort of play. Unlock skill cores from 70 time. 
and the SP spirit will return for free to experiment with different combinations. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Zippy, thank do Zippy Duda, thank you for the six month resub. Oh, back for more? Um, yeah. Bat and Red X, uh, home, there's focus. Now it's your mind to take a strong defensive stance. That one seems good for a lot of people. Tifa. Cloud and Le Tifa leap in the air and deliver a spinning attack. Yes. It's definitely that one. Aerith. Ask Brandon to you while you move about the battlefield. Tifa makes use of Aerith's magic to deal damage across a wide area. I like the bodyguard. These are some cool abilities. Um, Barrett sends X flying towards an enemy high velocity. Charge forward and guard against incoming attacks. <coughs> See you around. See ya. This is where it all began. The first Magnata books. Those folios are too much for me. All right, take a quick poll chat. Uh, type Dan Tifa if you're Team Tifa. Type Dan Aerith if you're Team Aerith. Oh, another one. Oh, oops! Sorry, I destroyed your little fort. My bad. I could gaze at it sorry. all day. Excuse me. That was my barricade. You just destroyed. I didn't destroy oh. anything. Come to admire the Bailey. It is something. Or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. Yes. <laughs> I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Just like Calm's wall, I yield to no one. Refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Don't presume you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. I'm gonna kick your ass, ma'am. You shall give me a screamer. Very nice. Um, Cactar. Cactar seems exactly like the Levercon, just it actually has an ability instead of it not having no ability. Like, it's the exact same card. Also, the crab is just a straight upgrade to the wolf. I've got to have one. Ign Ignatium, thank you for that resub of 23 months. Thank you. Um, I definitely want to make some more ones. We'll redraw those. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try the sweeper. Good sweeper time. Oh.
Except that one. No! I have to sweep her in there. Uh oh. Kicking my ass. That's a one. <laughs> I can't play the cards, no. Don't kick my ass. Shall try again, madam. Do some more ones, thank you. I need to try to take the bottom two lanes. that one at all. is right there that little crab thingy is like super powerful we shall try again madam
this just doesn't seem useful yet. Um, I'll add that in again. You don't lose cards. Lock him in there. So annoying. Is it safe? Whatever those little crab things are, so powerful. You gotta get lucky with RG. here. Swap that over. <laughs> the 
crowd will. I bet you win that lane. Yay, I win! Finally! This this mini game is really fun. I like that. Card has no ability. Possible. How could someone break through my perfect defense? Who are you? Deep down, I was I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe, but even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. Wow, okay. <laughs> so much philosophy today. You will crumble. <coughs> like the walls around my heart. I'm sick, Nimico. Nice of gear. Welcome. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I can show you. Judge your weapons via upgrade weapons in the main menu. Raise your current weapon levels will unlock more of these skills while well stat boosts. Wow, even more leveling up. First, uh, upgrade your weapon. You can see your party's current equip we equipment, their weapon levels, amount of skill points you need to reach maximum level. Select the Buster Sword. Um, Buster Sword. Weapon at you are required skills displayed here. Try equipping a weapon skill. Notes when you can equip weapon skills are displayed here. Weapon ability damage plus 5% or max HP. As you increase um, your weapon level, you learn more skills, unlock more nodes, which set them. In addition to upgrade weapon screen, you can also tweak your skill load out by going to the material and equipment screen and setting materia. For a more shiny experience, you can set to automatically locate weapon skills. Auto upgrade menu. See what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. New weapons we found in the treasure chest in your travels. Um, but should you happen to miss one, local arms dealer will have available for purchase. Weapons are even stocked. The latest armor and accessories are to check it often. A fire bolt. Explain to me his weakness. Spear, sword, fire, and lightning, slice and foe of airborne. Hunter's bangle. You take care of that weapon now. Each weapon comes with distinct ability to uh, use when the weapon is equipped. Using this ability repeatedly, repeating its proficiency bonus will increase proficiency. Max up proficiency. Right. Um. A day with Aerith. Ooh. Meet Aerith at the clock tower. I'm gonna go run to the bathroom real fast, guys. You're back in a second.
All right. <clears throat> Let's have a date with Aerith. Then, shall we? She loves, she loves to grab my hand and just yank me up there. Jeez. Very beautiful clock tower. Gars this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? Well, it's cold out here. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Time to kick their asses. Chocobo and Moogle. Adrian Battle. Ifrits. Currently we have healing, fire, assess. Weapon ability damage. Well, heal is good. Fire is a nice one to have, I guess. Uh, Aerith, what do you have? You're missing one. Um, she's got wind and prayer. I'll give you I guess let's we'll leave it where it is. Wind damage, fleeting familiar duration. And she currently has Shiva. AK mommy. Right, Jim, thank you for that resub and Yamato, thank you for the resub. All right, let's go. Can they just invade a foreign country like that? Like, or a city? It's a little... I don't know. That's a big ship.
There isn't much time. We need to get back to the end. But... Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. Thank God you're playing in 60 FPS. I just stopped because I was squashing someone else because they were playing in 30. Yeah, I get that. I, I too love the comfort of 60 FPS. Uh-oh. Yeah, some cops that ran in here. Yeah, it's a little blurrier, but I'll take the little blurriness with to get 60 FPS every day. That was you, wasn't it? It's okay. I'm on your side. Got a contact at HQ. But honestly, like when I turn on um, fidelity mode, it doesn't look drastically less blurry. It's still blurry, but it's not. Not exactly. Dude, it's still kind of blurry, even with uh, the just 30 FPS. Just the way the game, just the fog they have in the game that makes everything look a little, a little washed out. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. I would like to adjust the volume. It feels like the music's a little louder than the the voices. Let's do um Just slow everything and set the music a little bit. Oh, his voice is to be a little bit louder. Uh, the PC port will come eventually, and that'll be a great day. May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Now that you mention it, I think I might have. Though perhaps it was just my imagination. I saw some people who had a fugitive air about them. A fugitive air about them. I know I'm someone else. Stop wasting our time. Moving so slowly. I know you're trying to stealth, but could you move us slightly faster? I mean, come on. They turn up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. They'll search harder. We gotta find them. My God, can we go a little bit faster, please? Our friends, though. Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. The tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, Take this. More cards for the card game? It's a transmuter. Oh. 
converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Item trade the menu screen on the main menu. Convert raw materials to practical items, consumables, ex equipment, accessories, and more. Oh, so crafting. Ooh. Collect transmitter chips throughout the world to improve your recipes and stuff. Ooh. Item transmuter. Um, currently stuff. Here are the materials necessary amounts for the selected item. Requirements for transmuting a potion. Transmuting an item of first time grants XP, which increases your craftsmanship. Crap new items whenever you get the chance. Okay, the potion, 10 XP. So, transmutation, you can uh, keep your supplies topped up and without need to buy them from vendors. Ooh. They're adding a lot of nice stuff to this. Crafting everything. They even have a marker there to tell you which one um, you've already crafted. If the music is off key and hard to listen to, you want to pause and unpause the stream. It's a Twitch bug when someone has low latency mode on. It'll fix it until it happens again and just refresh again. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? No, it was... What? Wait, uh, no. Um... Well, that was the last one. At least till things come No. <laughs> Got that? Uh, oh. Now, let's move. I didn't know it was a date. I thought we were just going to the clock tower. I didn't realize she was wanting some clock. I, I, I thought we were just hanging out. Apparently she thought it was more. I know, I think I just got clock blocked now. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Oh, Barry. We may have a third option now, watching him manhandle those beams like that. Oh, Julia made us a new emote. It's uh, Dan Moogle. So if you feel a little Koopo coming on. It may 
may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. You want the same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. The game begins. Four hours into the game. Adjust your bar battle party from the combat settings. You can create a, uh, up to three preset parties. Swap between. Explore the world. Command parties. To switch parties. Open the map. Get a, your bearings with story markers, discovery markers, and your map. They show pin. All right. Um. Oh my, the map is actually quite, holy hell, that's big. That is a big map. It's very different from the first game, which was very all in Midgar. Edit the parties again. They just told me how to do it. I can't remember how. View the data for your party members. Combat settings, combat setting. There we go. Up here. Why wouldn't they put it under the under the um the uh what you call it the party menu? I think we'll do uh Cloud, Tifa, Aerith, and then Barrett and the dog cat thing. I'm still not familiar with him. He came in very late in the, in the other game. Oh, a troll. Orc, actually. Uh, call on duty for assistance. Let's oh. A summon. So that wasn't so bad. <coughs> Our barity mo is Dan mad because he seems mad all the time. He's always yelling at us. Wow, that's a steep drop. Can I fall over the edge? Nope. Very beautiful out here. Did a great job making the game look great. Definitely noticing some popping um, with the grass and stuff on performance mode, but 
Nothing too crazy. You know what that metal monstrosity is, don't you? It's a pipeline. Moves Mako pumped in Midgard to the outlying towns and everywhere else. You call it a Genius one. And unique? Very. I like the seamless um, switching into combat and out of combat. And the conversations keep pulling up and stop talking. So they have crafting materials now. They're buying a little Final Fantasy 15 into this game. With the open world stuff. Don't hold back. <laughs> Synergy Great synergy two characters trying to they can create synergy abilities. Oh I don't have any unlocked for them yet. Alright, let's braver. So long. Who we leveled up? Noise. Let's finish this. That's that. That's over. Chunk of ore. It's like more crafty ingredients over here. Ruby. Let's see how the crafting works. So we have. <coughs> Still don't have any of those ingredients, so never mind. Now, in the original game, I've, again, I've never played the original game. Uh, is this where the game opened up in open world as well in that game? After you leave Midgar and that other little mini city. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I wonder how different of an experience this is for someone that's played the original game and someone that hasn't. Because I haven't. And I wonder, like, if people that have will pick up on things other people haven't. Because uh, that is, they designed it to be that anyone could play it, whether you played the original or not. And then now that the remake is veering further and further away from the original, it's going to be like something new for people. Oh, cards? Wait, that's a card shop? That little shack there? Yeah, I won't know what is different and what's just new or, or what is the same, so it's just have to be interesting. Door is locked. So many crafting ingredients are work. All right. Well, if we can't go there. Um, something on the left there. Looks like it might be up there. Yeah, we got introduced to the character Zack at the very beginning of this. Yeah. Very briefly, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, everything feels better in the uh, Rebirth versus Remake. They just like streamlined every mechanic so much more. Like a little barn or something? Tifa, jeez, calm down. Tifa, please. You need to chill. Uh, FB Envy, thank you for that 67 month resub. That says Dan Bobble. Let's put some Dan Bobble in chat for our resub. I did not ruin that lady's fort. I just decided to rearrange it. I was embracing my creativity. Hello, people. <laughs> Looks like there's something to the left. Oh, this is the farm he told us about. So there was someone that owns a farm. Hello, sir. You be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shinra's forgotten it's even there. I think it needs to be even a little louder. Seems like every game now, the uh, voices are just so much lower than everything else. Probably because of compression. Wish there was something more I could do, but I ain't got the space to put y'all up. What is this? Swamp's your best bet. Many machines offer variety of useful items that aid you in your adventures, such as potions, plumes of Phoenix Down, uh, Kappa, uh, Ming Li, uh, Dan S. They also sometimes offer limited quantities of certain items at special prices. Save some guilt by stocking and research when they're on sale. For now. Oh, cushion. Um, used to. Allows you to use broken down rest stops. Oh, really? I get it for free. Oh. Actually, no. Just discounted a lot. Hunter's Bangles on sale. Yeah, let's get that. Sell. Um. Oh, it's this thing again. Uh, range attack with your partner. Good punisher mode, strong attack damage by 3%. Wind current. Unleash a uh, wind magic attack without spending mana. And there's ability strength and wind materia spells. I'll grab this one. Get all their synergy abilities unlocked. <laughs> Tifa ability. Baron Red are partners, so that's good. We shall set and regenerate. Mm -hmm. 
Seeing more fiends out and about every day. Watch yourselves here. I'll try. It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice and plump so they fetch a high price. Uh, transmuter. No. So I need sage. And beast talon. And Salga, thank you for that 17 month resub and rushing and things for that resub as well. Um, let's go see what that building is over there. Hello, gentlemen. I don't know how many quests or anything looks like. Looks like our main quest is all the way over there. Damn, that's far. A lot of open world between us and there. This is like an abandoned place or something. Probably monsters here. Or secrets, at least. Uh, no, nothing from the first game carries over. It's like you're playing a, a whole new separate game. Think of it as like God of War 1 and God of War 2. Same characters, you continue this, the story, but they don't import anything. And they kind of reset you between games. The sparkliness leading us to. Anything cool here at all? Obtain ma uh, manifestation of the planet's blessing. What? What's fun about the Final Fantasy games? They're just uh, pretty decent RPGs. I wouldn't say they're the best, but they're just like a comfy RPG. It's very familiar. You, most people are familiar with the the spells and the the characters, the world, the chocobos and stuff. They have, you see, have good graphics, good good music, good combat. They change the combat between every game. It's a series that constantly reinvents itself. Gameplay wise. Uh, the stories are all disconnected from one another. Uh, with the exception of dashes like X-1 or X-2. Um, they're all separate stories. They're all like in the same universe, but they're different locations, characters, places. <laughs> Alright, let's see what graphics mode looks like in this open world area. I warn you, the, the frame rate's going to go down a lot. Be interested to see what the open world looks like. Oh my god, the frame rate. Oh. The resolution is nice. But the choppy frame rate is hard to like go between. Oh, is there someone in the windmill settlement that I missed? Oh, they didn't see anybody. See, bit better resolution, but man, is it choppy. Now there's lots of rumors that there is a um, Switch, a uh, PlayStation Five Pro being worked on. And the Pro is is supposed to be able to do the the pro graphics mode in all these games, but still maintain 60 FPS. 
That'll be the big difference. Is imagine if you both performance and fidelity mode both ran at five frame rates. So is there a person here? I did not see anybody at the windmill. And also take a take it take a big hit of copium. Um, eventually the switch two will come out as well. Magnificent, isn't it? A Republic original. Hmm. If only there was some way to get it moving again. Um. <clears throat> Sorry, ma'am. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Looks all ruined. Uh, last Epoch? Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Last Epoch while I've been sick. Yeah, there was a person there. They just, all they do is talk to you about a couple little things, but someone's there. We'll go ahead to the next quest objective. Now, I keep picking up an item called Manifestation of the Planet's Blessing. Like, is that an actual thing? Uh, yes, it's bottled, even. I don't know what the hell that is, but okay. What about first epoch? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, what are these things? Use a cess. I'm ready for you. That's it. Let's do it. Uh, a cess. Let's do it right. Weakness to fire. It's when Lydia's a pretty. Uh, guard is up. Fire. Hey! Take the lead. Tifa excels at close range combat. Uses quick combos with damage. Hold the single bow. Abilities. Watch yourself. My turn. Eric. Uh, long range magic. Hold down Tempest. I can fully charge some of these villagers sits through combat. Oh, uh, only Cloud has fire currently. Let's do this. Spells, fire. Bird, gotcha. You're mine. Spells, fire. Time to burn. You're done. Not bad, but not my best. All right, well. Got some beast bones finally. Tifa's a badass. She um beats up elephants with her fists. I mean, what the hell? That's like so cool. Raise your hand in chat if you want Tifa to beat you up. Assess orc. Too bad. 
fire. No one gets on now. It's over. I need to assess the wolf as well. That's it right. We against ice. Okay, so we buy um Tifa free! I hope someday we get a game that lets you have a, a party of a, a big party of people and you don't have to choose who to have in combat. You can have everybody. Everyone gets to join combat. There's some characters in games that I will never have in combat because they're not cool as cool as other characters. Like, you gonna tell me I'm not gonna have Garrus in my party? I mean come on. <laughs> Uh, let's do Braver. No one gets on now. Bad. Oh. One step at a time. Aerith, can you please? Oh, wait. Do you not have spells, Aerith? Oh my gosh, she doesn't have any spells equipped. We need some more materia, damn it. I'm going to give healing materia to Oh, I also need to equip uh, the Buster Hunter's Bangle, actually. Now I can equip a new ability. I'm on performance mode. I find it looks better. I mean, runs better. Runs a lot better. A little blurrier, but at least, you know, it, it just runs so smooth otherwise. Precision defense. Okay, Aerith, I need you to please heal me. We'll go ahead and uh, actually use potion. Oh, speaking of which, can I um, transmit anything now? No, but can I make some more potions? No. Great. Ooh, I love how it turned into the woods over there. Is that a. I got your number. Weak to ice. Yeah. 
Here it comes. Going in. Let's keep it up. Gotcha. We're facing him. Uh, I've been really sick be past few days. About those things? So We're I'm fine. confident sneezing a lot. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? What are these things? Allow me. And then with powerful attacks, make the flinch try to mount burrows. Let's finish this. Weapon 101. Going in. It's on now. You're done. Nothing to it. Dun, dun, dun. Not bad. Combat feels real fluid and nice. They've really streamlined it from the first game. All right, let's go in the woods and see what their first mission is. It's like there's a little hut over there. Yeah, we just got in the open world area. This is our first air time being out here. And we've only uncovered a very little bit of the map. So everything we've been to so far has been just that right there. Wait a minute. That is huge. <coughs> so this is like the whole map. So that's Midgard, and oh man, that's a huge area. Sounds really scary here. You showing up with someone with a real gun? Oh, you mean Barry? Yes. We'll have plenty of Barry time, I'm sure. Purple chest. Sleek stabber. Sleek saber. Uh, ability focus thrust. Uh, Firebolt blade. That does have a lot more attack than our current one. So we'll put that on. And then we have another slot. We had no material yet, though. We shall wait. <laughs> Gotta use that fire blade thing to master it. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. <sighs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. <gasps> we'll chocobo. see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> well, can we rent some birds? Can we? You always come to me for money? What? 
Don't you guys have money to buy your own birds? Fine. What? <laughs> Why do I gotta buy all those stuff? Why does no one help? I gotta pay for everything? <laughs> oh my god. They just flash their little eyes at me and then I just end up buying them chocobos. Got a cushion. Oh wait, I wonder what the chocobo theme will sound like in this one. Because they change the chocobo theme every time. I won't lose. <laughs> Abilities Fireball Blade. Gotcha. Ooh. On now. Come on. Oh, shit. That looks strong. <laughs> Cloud is a simp. I mean, if Tifa was hanging out next to you and wanted some like something from you, it'd be really hard to be like, no. So I get it. I mean, have you seen her bathing suit? Have you seen it? If you haven't seen it, oh my god. We get to the bathing suit section. You're in for a treat. If you just go sit down for a rest, which will replenish uh, your HP. Oh. I don't want to waste my cushion yet. And they, they showed a little preview of the game during a trailer a few weeks ago, and they showed Tifa in her bathing suit, and we were all like, how do you not have back pain, madam? Oh my god. Paints is part of we learn to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Chocobo time. Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the ride to Calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Anywho, what can I do you for? You Bill. in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. 
Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. It's a very good sales pitch, mister. I'm going to take that one too. Now, I don't put on to buy them, and I don't have a lot of money. Hopefully, he'll let me have one because he's nice. Howdy! Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Oh no. Which is ten grand each. What? <sighs> the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Oh no. Only cost you a grand. is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Wait, riding and rearing? Like, I gotta pay for those? Oh, no. Like, sure, it's free. Well, the chocobo's free. The training costs you 20000 It's like a chest? A Moogle medal, oh yeah, an MM. Einstein, thank you for that resub. I love this game, yes. It's very good. Very, very. Ooh, purple chest. A timeless rod. Sounds like something Aerith could wear. Yep. That rod sure is timeless. Taco Churro, thank you for that resub. And Einster, thank you again. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Wait, your parents Say, left? Are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, no. 
not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye... Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. Golden so plumes? So be sure to hand them over if you do. Hey, ranch shop, um, we'll have gear for chocobo and be traded. These rare feathers can be obtained by wrangling new chocobos or repairing chocobo stops. Wait, I can repair chocobo stops? And I can wrangle more than one? So it's gonna be a whole system of like grabbing things and custom mounts and feet. Breastplate, helmet, oh wow. There's so much stuff. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. New discovery made, nice. All right, guys, I need to go take a break. My medicine is wearing off, and I'm starting to feel really tired. I need to get some sleep. So I'm going to go take a nap. Hopefully, I'll stop being sick soon, but I feel like this cold's going to linger for a bit. So I'm going to go take a nap. Thank you for hanging out and enjoying our stream. This game's been wonderful. We're going to play a hell of a lot more of it. But unfortunately, I'm sick. I need to go sleep some more. All right, thank you guys for stopping by and being wonderful, amazing people. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody. Have a good night if I don't see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for following on all our socials and stuff. Bye, guys. Here's a little something you may not know. All video games take place in a shared multiverse called the Metabit. And it's home to a legendary hero jumping in and out of worlds to save the day. But just who is this mysterious champion? Yep, you guessed it. Dan. And all of your favorite video game heroes, past and present, they're actually Dan. Remember that retail store clerk who had to fight off a freaky cult of the undead? That was Dan. Or when the retired colonel suited up to save the city from invading snake aliens? Also Dan. The time I died 27 times trying to cross that stupid bridge and I nearly threw my controller through the wall. Yeah, okay, so no one's perfect. But in the end, Dan always comes out on top. Dan's dedicated his life to defeating the perils of the Metabit. And now he's helping others do the same.